up what is up guys hopefully you can hear me all right you can probably hear the waves in the background as well but we're down at the spit i'm gonna do like a little running workout also welcome back to the youtube um and yeah we're gonna do a little running workout and then i'm going to talk a little bit about the 100k that i did about two weeks ago now but um yeah i'll leave that the running workout over here so you can check it out it's pretty much like three kilometer repeats with a little bit of jogging in between but yeah i'm just trying to prepare now for a few half marathons so that's pretty much what this workout is based on 16 kilometers all up um, just done a few light stretches got the new nike street flies on i managed to pick these up for like a hundred dollars from dfo so i'm keen as to try these out today they do feel a lot different to the Vaporfly and the Alpha Flyer, but I will let you. This is literally the first time I've worn them, so I'll let you know how they go after the run. But and it's amazing sunrise in the background. But um, yeah, let's get into this workout, then I'll have a chat to you guys after. Right, so hopefully you can hear me over these loud shoes, but I've got the little camera today, so in this warm up, obviously film a little bit, and then in between the three kilometer repeats, I'm gonna try to have a quick chat as well. Just let you guys know how each one goes. So warm up is two kilometers, just 4.30 to five minute pace, low heart rate. Should be able to keep it under 150. And then it's straight into these three these three kilometer repeats. But um, fuel this morning, had two, um, well, one English muffin sliced in half with some peanut butter, banana and honey. And then we had one scoop of G1M Sport. So feeling good. Got, should have plenty of energy and carbs. We'll start smashing these repeats. All right, warm up is nearly done. Just about to start the first three kilometer in about 100 meters. Aim is 3.40 to 3.45 pace. Let's do it. All right. 3K number one, done. Way tougher than I thought it was gonna be. We hit a 346, 347, then a 339. So average, I think is under 345. But that was tough, man. <laughs> We're still in this one kilometer rest in between, and we'll go again. All right, three kilometer number two done. Not getting any easier, but I think we hit all those splits. 340, 345, so making me feel a little bit better. And we've only got one left. And then I think it's around three kilometer cool down. So excited for that. So humid at the moment. It's supposed to be like cooling down this time of year, but it's just still hot as hell. And coming into race season, not ideal. Although, make your training hard, races become easy. Let's go last 3K. So last three kilometers done. I think average was just under 345. That was so tough, that last kilometer. I'm definitely not in the best shape right now, fitness-wise, a lot to work on. Um, especially if I wanna hit like a sub 120 half marathon this year, still way off. But this is the training I need to do. And obviously ramp it up as it gets a bit cooler, start doing some real serious sessions. Hopefully get a lot fitter. But we're gonna finish this cool down now and then have a chat to you guys after. Alrighty, that is the workout done. 
just sat down, took a couple photos over there just before, but we're gonna have a look over the workout, see how we went. It was extremely tough, like I mentioned at the end of it, I was absolutely cooked by the end of that last 3K. Um, I'm definitely not at the same fitness level I was last year, but I did just do that 100K about, yeah, one and a half to two weeks ago, so my body is still recovering a little bit from that, but no excuses, we still got the splits anyway, so. So I will leave all of this obviously up on the screen next to me, over here. Um, so yeah, warm up, we ran that in 4.42. I was feeling pretty good at the start. And then the first three kilometer, we hit at an average of 3.44, which is good, that was our goal. Next one, uh, oh, so we had the recovery, which was that's the 4.49, chill recovery. Um, and then second three kilometer, 3.43. Again, just went hard. I felt pretty good at this one, um, probably the best out of the three. And then recovery again around five minute pace. And then the third one, I really started to feel it. Um, I had to sprint at the very end to get 3.45, but we got it. Um, so yeah, pretty much like a three kilometer cool down and that was around um, five minute to 5.30 pace. So I plan to go a little bit quicker, but for a cool down, honestly, I just wanted to get it done. My legs were absolutely cooked and I just wanted to finish off. So that's the workout done. Um, I wore the heart rate monitor today, so I should be able to give you guys a little bit better readings heart rate wise, because you always ask me and my watch just goes all over the place if I'm running real fast. So yeah, today we had the heart rate monitor on. Like I said, fitness just ain't there, but we're working towards it. Race season coming up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I might go over the 100K questions a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll just go over a, sh a, f a few quickly. I don't like, I don't want to talk about it for too long, but um, yeah, it was for a great cause. Obviously, Harrison Payne Initiative um, pretty much supports like bringing awareness to drink driving and stuff. It was such a tough day, um, but yeah, we got it done. Body was so sore afterwards. And some of the questions you guys asked, kind of like food wise, like I honestly didn't want to eat at all after it. Um, even during the whole run, I was having a heap of G1M sport, but even then I should have probably had more of that towards the end of the day. I kind of, it was, there's a heap of things that I would have done differently. Um, but yeah, like eating wise, you guys probably think that I'd be really hungry after it. I didn't really want to eat at all. My guts felt so weird just from having heaps of gels, like all this artificial kind of stuff. So yeah, we got it done in just under three hours, which is good. But um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. We might leave it for another video, but I'm going to go home now. I was going to have a swim, but I've actually cooled down a bit now. So we're going to go home, make a nice little breakfast up, and then we're going to hit a leg session, I think. So I might film like a little bit of that. And then hopefully I get a package from BPN today. I can run through kind of my supplement routine, what I'm currently taking and what I'm also going to try out from BPN that's new. So I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty, refuel after the run. We've got some oats with some protein, almond milk in the microwave, and then we've got some blueberries on top. Going to put some honey on there. So usually I'll use the BPN whey protein, but I literally ran out yesterday and I should have another order coming in today. So I'll show you guys if that comes in. Um, but yeah, heap of water to refuel um, with one scoop of strong reds and one scoop of strong greens from BPN. So all your essential vitamins and minerals, a lot of stuff that you'd usually get from fruit, veg. I probably don't eat enough, enough vegetables, so this stuff is great. And then we also have some multivitamins, so we got two fish oil, one multivitamin, two glucosamine, oh no, two magnesium and one glucosamine. And that's just for overall health and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this off and I'll have a chat to you guys in a second about how those street flies went. All right guys, I just finished up breakfast. I'm gonna go train later on. I'm probably gonna start editing this YouTube video in a minute, but um, I didn't mention and kind of give my thoughts on the streak flyer. So yeah, wore these this morning for that run. Um, they feel, they are super light, um, very similar, well, kind of similar to um, the Vaporfly, although the only thing I'll say is they feel a lot flatter 
on the on the base. Um, I reckon they probably feel lighter. I like the upper better. It's um, more comfortable than the Vaporfly 2. I'm pretty keen to get my hands on the Vaporfly 3, but I want to make sure I get like a nice colorway. They got like the pink out at the moment. I'm not sure if I vibe the pink, and I'm gonna try get my mate to get me the prototypes. But with these shoes, so yeah, super flat and. Like it says on here, pretty much made for five and 10 Ks. I can kind of see why. Um, it does feel like it's made for more of like your sprinting kind of track sessions. I think I definitely probably should have wore these for the 2K time trial that I did. Um, but yeah, I won't ramble on too much about them, but they, they were good. Um, I'll probably use them for some track sessions and stuff and wear them occasionally. But yeah, very similar to like Vaporfly. They just don't have as much of like a a drop um, on them like they don't have as much bounce from the back um, which is probably better for me trying to run more uh, midfoot rather than heel strike like I have previously so yeah that's my thoughts pretty good shoe um, but won't go too far into detail just gonna start editing this video and then we'll head to the gym later on Alrighty, we just had a package come through from BPN, literally being so keen for this package because I'm actually out of protein, like I mentioned. But we got four tubs of whey protein. I thought I was just getting three, but man, we're stocked up now. We got blueberry muffin, as you can see that. Two tubs of that, and then two tubs of the Nutter Bar Blast. So that's like a chopped peanut butter. These just taste amazing, the whey protein. We're gonna try the vegan protein got oatmeal cookie and then we got more G1M which is the fruit punch flavor we got peak sleep which I haven't tried yet more flight pre-workout blue raspberry haven't tried that um, electrolytes in little sachets more electrolytes keen to try those haven't tried those yet strong reds and strong greens. so if you've ever wondered what supplements I take this is it Pretty much nothing more than this. Um, this is pretty much bang on what I'll be taking. And yeah, obviously you can get all this stuff at bpnsups.com. And you guys in Australia, um, just be patient with me. I'll try I'll try to talk to the guys and work out how we can um, get BPN Sups out here in Australia in the future. All right, we're heading off the gym. One scoop of flight. This is a sour watermelon, amazing flavor. And then I forgot to mention before, this is the only other supplement that I didn't mention before that I take five grams of creatine before every gym session. So that's five grams per day. Let's do it. Leg day incoming. You set my soul on fire. Video. Um, just got home and I'm gonna demolish this meal. My legs are legs are absolutely cooked. Um, not ideal training legs the same day as doing one of those crazy running workouts, but it just works best with my schedule and how yeah how all my training is arranged. So we usually hit the legs. The, we hit the speed workout. We get the legs cooked already, and then we just go to gym and do what we can with the weights. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please um, drop a comment, 
let me know what you think. Like the vid if you can, it'd be appreciated. And um, yeah, subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you on the next one.